hi everyone welcome back to my channel tn art i hope you all are well so let's start today's video so time to time i do get some requests on making flowers for the beginners because a lot of people are uh, every day uh, start working with resin and they ask for ideas and how a beginner can make a flower so first of all i suggest you to buy this casting crop this is really a perfect um, white paste for making flowers so here what i'm doing here is i have taken um, a craft resin a resin here it's one to one low viscosity i have a discount code in my description if you like to purchase yourself and in this cup i have 15 ml of resin to which i added around three to four drops of casting craft and now i'm just mixing it so what I did here is I mixed my resin and then I poured my resin into this mold and I waited for 20 minutes. Again, it's really up to you, uh, up to the place where you're living, the conditions, it's humid, it's hot, really everything depends on this. So the key is that you are looking for a honey-like consistency for your flower. So there are so many make ways of making flower. You can make uh, use piping bags. You can draw free hands, what I'm actually doing here, and you can make petals like sunflower. So I'm just going here freehand. You can see what I'm doing here. So this is a flower making tip, and you can see that I'm making the petals and my white is not spreading. So this is something you need to look for as well. If you see your white is spreading and it's becoming transparent or it's looking not good, so you need to wait some more. So stop making the petals at that time. But here you can see the white is at its place. So most definitely going for a honey-like consistency, this is the key. So I'm going here for an intricate flower, so my petals are very close to each other. So take your time and draw the petals here. There is no need to rush when you're making a flower. So raisin is all about patience. So of course uh, making a flower with a piping bag is really easy you just swirl all around uh, in a one go and then with a pointy tool you just draw the five petals it's really easy but then there are so many different results when you're drawing like this there are, the result is totally different but I, all in all i will say that all of the styles of making flower is pretty So you can see I'm slowly building up the petals and I'm taking my time very carefully and I'm avoiding the blobs so you that is something you need to take care of and if you put up a blob into your flower just make sure with the tip of the dotting tool or the silicon tool anything you're making petals with just uh, move it. If you can see that I have this blob in this array so I am just fixing it and I have changed the direction of it. So this is the best time to correct all your petals if you have any blobs. So I will be taking my time as I explained and I will be making the petals.
So here I didn't speed up the process. I took my time. I wanted to show you how long it takes to make uh, petals for the flower if you want beautiful results. So it's all made. I leave this to cure and see you next day. So this is the next day and usually I do demold my flowers and then decide the back. But this is actually a festive time. I wanted to do a background that is really different. I'm going to experiment here and be brave. So yes, I will be using this red color. This is really something I am doing first time. Uh, I, I usually do blacks or whites or very lighter shades to my flowers. But this time I'm brave. As I explained that it's Christmas and we need to make fun uh, coasters. And also, I do get requests to use uh, backgrounds that are a bit different. So here I just poured it into the resin. So I'm using craft resin here, just as I explained you. So I will be using the same resin throughout for my top coat and for this filling up the flower backing. So here I'm adding some golden mica into the red resin just a little bit to give that shiny effect and now I will be pouring it into the mold so by the look of the flower it's looking amazing but you don't know what the front looks like sometime back is really pretty but the front is it's unseen so let's see and wait after my resin is cured so now I will leave this to cure and see you next day So this is the next day and I am super excited to see how this looks like. So fingers crossed. A little panic that why it was not demolding but it started to demold. It's getting cold, so resin is taking its time to cure. So it's out of the mold and time to see how this looks like. Absolutely in love with this flower and even the center is so pretty. Wow, just wow, I can say that. I think this is the prettiest flower I have made up till now. The center is so pretty. That is the best thing that I have. And everything is amazing about this flower. And the red is looking so amazing. I just love it. Please do let me know in comments what you think, think about this red background. The flower came out so pretty. And now it's time to do the top coat. And for the top coat, I'm using craft resin here again. So I pour my resin into the center of the coaster. And then with my heat gun, I move the resin. So in this way... The bubbles are removed and the resin flow onto the coaster easily. So I always do that. Up till now, white pigment paste is a mystery really. I don't know why but it's always amazing to see how the flower turns out. And after doing that, I do add some resin with the help of the popsicle stick where I need more resin. So uh, the top layer that I do is a bit on the, you can say, medium size side. It's not really very thin. So be sure that you add enough resin so that when it's cured, it cures properly. Otherwise, sometimes if you do a thin layer, the resin cures. But so at some places, there is shrinkage and the resin moves. So that's why. So again, I'm using my heat gun. This really helps the top coat and after doing the top coat you can see how pretty the flower looks like and with my uh, torch I'm just blowing the bubbles that I might have on the surface here. And this is all done. I leave this to cure and let's see the final look of the flower. So this is the final look. Already we have seen that it turned out to be so pretty. So this is the final look. I didn't add anything to this flower here and it looks so pretty yeah i have seen uh, said this so many times but i'm loving this the main reason is that the center is wow again this is an experiment i might try to do it again it will it will never happen but i will try to do that but i'm really happy about it so i hope you like it and if you did please do let me know in comments and also please like subscribe and share thumbs up if you like the video and if you haven't subscribed please consider doing so and i will link the craft resin in my description and the casting craft as well so you can treat yourself if you want to purchase it
Stay good care of yourself. Bye-bye.